Yo guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios here, and uh, you know, like normally I'm a Pokemon channel, but I also will be doing some sports videos. I'm still a football fan, so you'll definitely see like Dolphins videos and Alabama videos occasionally. But today I just I, I want to do a quick video going over. So as you know, the Dolphins fired Adam Gase at the end of the season. It had to happen. We need a real culture change. Like he was talking about culture change, but the only thing that changed was the team seemed to get progressively worse, you know, like and undisciplined. So I'm gonna go over some of these moves that the Dolphins need to make with coaching, which will be my top three choices, and I'll also add in some potential defensive coordinators that will be good. So my number three coach, top, uh, my number number three in my coaching uh, choices is. Eric Bieniemy, offensive coordinator of the Chiefs. Now I'm I'm aware he does not call his own plays. I don't feel like he had called his own plays in Miami. I feel like he had hire a he had he had lure in a decent a decent too good offensive coordinator with him, which would be good. But the reason he's number three, I think he could be a good coach. A lot of coaches that come from the Andy Reid assistant coaching tree turn out to be good coaches, you know. But um, you know. I'd, I think I'd rather go defensive minded or just an overall like player coach, a coach that can get the locker room fired up, that can change the atmosphere in the locker room, which is what we need. The enemy, he's one of those guys that could change the atmosphere in the locker room, but he's not my number one choice. Number two is the defensive coordinator of the Colts. I, Colts, I think, his, I know his last name's Eber Floss or something. I, I don't know his exact name, but based on, you know, the Colts don't have the most talented defense in the league. They don't they don't have a ton of talent, yet they're still one of the top units in the league, and that's because of the scheme that Eberfloss has come up with. So I think him and a good defensive coordinator, which I will get into, they can come in and change – they can come in and kind of change it up a little bit, you know. That defense, all right, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm a firm believer that our team fits a 3-4 more than the 4-3. I think we need to go to a 3-4 defense. Everfloss would go to that, you know. The two uh, coaches that I, I wouldn't mind having that I will mention as defensive coordinator, those guys go with that 3-4. So, I'm just saying. Our team had a much better defense when we were running a 3-4 defense. They were. You know, 2008, the uh, playoff team went 11-5, 3-4. 2011, you know, 2010, 2009, all those years we had a good defense. 2012 even. It was 2013 when we got rid of our veterans who were good and brought in younger guys that just, they sucked. I mean, let's be honest, Danelle Ellerby, Phillip Wheeler. You know, Cole Misi, like, Cole Misi was in there in the original one, but they all sucked, let's be honest. But, yeah, Everfloss and a good defensive coordinator, I think they could come in. I think we need to build a championship team off the run game and defense. I do. My number one choice is the guy that the players are begging for, that many former players are begging for. Like, they're, they're happy that he's getting the interview. Darren Rizzi, now I understand, special teams coach. Oh, he's not going to be good because he's just a special teams coach. You know, coaches that fire up the locker room don't always do good. <laughs> you guys are sorely mistaken. John Harbaugh and Jim Harbaugh, I believe, both started out as special teams coaches. Bill Belichick started out as a special teams coach. Rizzi. All I can say, the players, he's a hes a coach the players would want to play for. Those players quit on Adam Gase. They wouldn't quit on Rizzy. Rizzy holds players accountable. That's what we need. Any of those three coaches would be the type of coaches to hold players accountable. All right, I'm just saying. Now, to get into defensive coordinators, two guys that I think we should definitely take a look at for defensive coordinator. You know, if if I if one of those coaches are hired, and I do believe they might take a look at them, are Rex Ryan and Todd Bowles, two defensive geniuses. And you know, that's all I have to say. I mean, 
question of the day, what coaches are in your top three? You know, leave the comment, you know. I don't have to explain myself. I mean, you know, those are my three choices. You might agree, you might disagree. That's your opinion. I have mine, you have yours. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, you know, so. That's all I got to say. Real American Studios out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord. Link all in the description below. You guys can. Like, you can follow me and you can debate, debate me. You know, I'd be happy to talk about it. You know, but, you know, that's going to do it. Real American Studios. Well, subscribe to all the channels. Link below. Real American Studios out. Peace out, my homies and Dolphins fans. Because I know that's who's going to be watching this fucking video.